Today we'll be looking at vectors in terms of uh, unit vectors. A vector is that quantity that has both magnitude and direction, whereas the scalar is that which that has um, only magnitude without direction. So, vectors, we know they can be added as vector addition, they can be subtracted, vector subtraction, and they can be multiplied. And that multiplication is of two types, the dot products and the cross product, which we'll be discussing them in this uh, topic. So a vector can be represented in 3D as three dimension. When we talk about 3D, it means three dimension. This is the Y, this is the X, this is the Z, and this is the origin. So assuming we have a position vector P is X, Y, Z. So this position vector can, is represented in the three axes we have here. So what is a unit vector? A unit vector is that vector that has a magnitude 1. And in the same way, this unit vector can be also represented in 3D. What we are saying is that, assuming we have a vector A, in terms of a unit vector, vector A can be represented as AXI plus a y g plus a z k the same way vector b can be represented as b x i plus b y g plus b z k so assuming we are to multiply these two vectors or what we call the dot products. Before the multiplication, we have to talk about what is a dot product. Assuming you have vector A and B, the dot product becomes A dot B is equal to modulus of A, modulus of B, cos theta. Modulus of A stands for the magnitude of vector A, and modulus of B stands for the magnitude of vector B. So before we can go into the dot product proper, we need to know that I notes that I dot I is equal to 1, J dot J is equal to 1, and K dot K is equal to 1. Then when you talk about i dot j is 0, j dot k is 0, and k dot i is 0. This is what we call the identity in vectors. So let's look at this. Assuming Given that A is AXI plus AYJ plus BZK, and vector B is given as BXI plus BYJ plus BZK. This implies that A dot B will be equal to AXI plus AYJ plus AZK dot BXI plus BYJ plus BZK. Remember, if you have a scenario like this, you need to take the first term and multiply out. A multiply by this, this term multiply by this, this term multiply by this. 
But looking at these identities, if I multiply AXI by BXI, I dot I is 1, this stands. So if I multiply AXI by BYJ, you know that A dot J is what? 0. So that quantity will vanish the same way with this. So if you multiply this out, we now have A dot B will now be equal to AX BX then we have or you can put it AXI BXI plus the same way if you move to the second term, it's only this that will survive. That will be A, Y, J, B, Y, J, plus this. That will be A, Z, K, B, Z, K. So, we know that I dot I is 1, J dot J is 1, K dot K is 1. So, we can write this as A dot b is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz but remember from here we said that a b a dot b is equivalent to this so we can represent this as remember this is equivalent to this so we can write this equation as modulus of a modulus of b cos theta is equal to this so this become ax bx plus ay by plus az bz the what we are looking at is the angle between the vectors the angle between the vectors assuming you have vector a and vector b this vector a this vector b they are inclined at an angle so that angle is what we'll be looking at. So in this case, we now have cos theta will now be equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz all by modulus of a modulus of b. They will know that modulus of A, where modulus of A is equivalent to square root of AX square plus AY square plus AZ square. And modulus of B is equivalent to BX square plus BY square plus BZ square. So, if you are presented with a problem of how to calculate the angle between the vectors, there's a formula you use, dot product, you take the modulus of this, and with that, you are good to go. Thank you.